I like to work on a white background and I like for it to be matte. We always do our big sale um, and November 1st is when we do that. So we do it then. All right, so this is where we get to decide what to do our outline with. And I'm kind of torn between brick red and neon tangerine. I want you to look closely at these ones that are already done. Um, hopefully you can tell uh, the outline was done in either a red or an orange. And I like to outline in red or orange because I like to be able to kind of come back and pull those colors back through. So I'll probably go with the red just, just because. So here we go. I am going to start doing the outline. Now, if it's your first time ever doing like a maple leaf and you're like, um, I don't even know like where to begin making the shape of a maple leaf. Basically it has like one, two, three. It's almost like a flower when I teach y'all the five petal flower. Four, five, and then the stem is gonna be like somewhere right here, just to kind of like put it into perspective. So if you need to start your um, maple leaf this way, by all means, or if you wanna take like a screenshot if you're watching from your phone of like how to get it started. I don't start it like this typically because I, um, have the ability in my brain to sort of just like imagine it and do it but I realized from years of teaching that not everyone can do that if you picture a person right here and they spread out their arms and spread out their legs and they have a long tail between their legs like I don't know what would have what has a tail that long um a lion maybe something with a very long tail <laughs> or like a panther <laughs> coming from between their legs and just dragging behind them this would be like a head and a hand and a hand and a foot and a foot if, if they were just spreading all of their limbs way out. So that's what I imagine in my head and that's what I kind of, um, I don't know, tell people when I'm teaching. And you can even leave that there and like you can reposition if you don't like where that is. Like if you're like, that's too low, well, you can just leave it there. We're not gonna cure this yet. So to do the outline of a maple leaf, you're gonna have like, little spiky places sort of like that it's almost kind of like fire or like flames and they don't have to match perfectly which is kind of cool and I'm just you can see how much gels on my brush like can you see how much gels on my brush hardly any gel at all But at some point what happens is this is gonna kind of swoop and start moving over to, to this one over here where we're gonna work it over there. Just making some little spiky spots. So again, like some little spikes, okay? Little spikes, like don't overthink it, y'all. Don't overthink it. You got like this area here, make some crazy spikes. Of course, you want it to be the highest in the middle. And this one's gonna go off the nail, so like, bye. Perfect, okay. So that's how you do the outline for the leaf. Now, as I pointed out, like I made this one come down and I was like, something doesn't look right. And it took me a while to figure out what it was. It's because this should actually be going kind of up right there instead of down. We're gonna work with the indigo brush. And um, this is a brush that's like good for aquarelle. I use this brush in alcohol a lot. The tips are a little bit like, you know, weird. And it's fine because I'm not using it for like crazy details or anything like that. So what we're gonna do uh, with this brush is we're actually gonna work with alcohol and this is not cured. So what you're looking at right now has not been cured. We've not put it into a light. 
I'm gonna take my pump bottle, there it is, there she is, with some alcohol. And I'm gonna get a little bit of alcohol in that well and I'm just gonna wet my brush with the alcohol. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna aim first for that little blob that I've got. But what's really cool is um, using alcohol with these paints, it's like, it's magical. It's a lot like watercolors. So we can come in here and you wanna try your best not to go outside of the lines, okay? But you can head on in here, any places where you got a little too heavy, I would just take advantage of those places to sort of pull some color into the leaf. You can pat it around if you wanna pat it. Just try not to go outside of the line. If it happens, there is a way to erase it using acetone. I like this too a lot because it really softens up. Oh yeah, girl, listen. <laughs> there is so much that you can do with our painting gels and alcohol. Like I can't even begin to like, it's a whole rabbit hole. So prepare Prepare, like get your snorkeling gear and prepare to do a deep dive because listen, yeah, I know. <laughs> you will be down the rabbit hole for days with our painting gels and alcohol and this brush. Like you could literally just be gone for days, like just disappear. We'll be like, where did she go? Oh, she figured out she could use alcohol with our painting gels and use them like watercolors. <laughs> So um, here's what I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to come right out of my tube. So if you want to, like, you know, if you're concerned about wasting, just go right out of your tube. It's probably way too much, though. Um, and I can just come in there with some different colors. Um, I used, like, what, brick red or something? Get some yellow in there. Um, another way you can do this is if you would like to just, um, you know, get just... Get some on the tip. Oh, kind of like that. You can go right out your tube like that if you don't want to be wasteful. So however you want to use your paints, I'm not going to judge you. Use them however you want. Just get some colors in there, okay? And then we... <laughs> I'm laughing. You guys are making me laugh tonight. <laughs> I keep this pad around. Okay, so if I feel like I have a little bit too much, uh, a little too much alcohol or something on there. But yeah, we can, it just melts it and just kind of melts it and it's uh, really fun because you don't need to cure in between. You don't need to do anything like that. You can just come in and Okay, so check this out. Um yeah, isn't it cool? Did you guys know I could do that? We're gonna pull. Get into some of these areas and just pull. You can pat, like if you really wanna pat, you can pat, oh my gosh, I'm glad you guys are so excited. You got me so excited. I'm always excited to show y'all new stuff. So this is like an exciting discovery and I'm so happy that this is like really exciting for all of you and that you're like pumped about it. I'm so tickled, so thank you. Um, you know, sometimes we launch products. I was telling Erin, like sometimes we get into these busy seasons where we're, we know what this stuff does and we are like, oh, this stuff's amazing. But it's like, you know, there's a lot of ADHD going around in this industry and, you know, ADHDers, which I am one. So like, you know, I can talk about us. 
Um, we're really good at starting projects and not so great at finishing them. So what happens as the owner of a product company is I get super excited about stuff because I know what it does. And then I am kind of like on to the next thing because <laughs> I um, just get bored quickly with stuff. Isn't that horrible? It's horrible to like admit that. But I just do. I'm like, oh, I know everything this stuff can do. This is awesome. You should buy it. Like just buy it. Trust me, like one day a year from now, I'll show you like something amazing that you should have known this whole time that it does. So my apologies, um, but here we are nonetheless uh, showing you all of this coolness that the painting gels can do. It looks like fire, doesn't it? I love it. So again, you can kind of see the difference like this one has uh, more of a red outline to it. This one has an orange outline. So you could even do half of the leaf uh, with a red outline and half with a, an orange outline if you feel like the red's a little harsh. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to make the outline of the leaf black because it takes away the realistic look of it when you just make it black. And it's really up to you at this point, um, you know, if you wanna add more colors to it, if you wanna add some green, I sometimes like to add a little green because y'all know in the fall, um, a lot of times you'll see like little, little green here or there. Don't get crazy because you're gonna make mud. I'm not trying to get you to make mud now, but I just am saying that sometimes Bitty bit of green. Sometimes a little bitty bit of green is okay. Just a little bitty bit because we don't want mud. And if we're trying to just distribute a color, like I'm not going to load my brush with alcohol right now. I'm just going to pat. Just so that like the green shows up just a hair in there. See how nice and um subtle that is and if like you feel like you want more you can add more green you cannot take it away this is a neon lime it's called yeah don't be afraid of neons for this stuff like you want the brightness so if you're like i just want a little bit more add more but don't go crazy because uh once you once you get too much then you got too much okay whoa that could be too much let's see what happens i'm gonna just pinch my brush really fast like whoop okay that's perfect now i can like see it i like it i think my husband just came back from the warehouse like that little pop of green in there right so don't be afraid of color don't be afraid to add some little you know little pops of color Pennsylvania is a beautiful place for fall leaves. All right. Um, cool. So uh, at this point, if you want to, you can cure. Or if you're like, no, I'm brave. If you are a brave soul, I am going to encourage you to now pick back up that gold brush. Okay. Just that little touch of chlorophyll, right? <laughs> Pick up that gold brush, get back in here. And I mean, just barely with a tiny, tiny bit. Uh oh, here comes my dog. I'm like, is he gonna jump on me while I'm doing this ridiculously detailed part of the leaf? Better not. Okay, so um, I think they're all stemming sort of from the uh, base, if I'm not mistaken. I am not an expert on maple leaves yet. I feel like I'm getting closer by the day. I feel like I'm almost mushroom expert status. <laughs> I don't know, those of you who follow me on social media, I post mushroom stuff a lot because we have a crazy amount of mushrooms. I took Erin on a mushroom hunt one time when she was here at my house and uh, it's so fun. My parents came to visit a couple weeks ago. I was like, let's go. We're finding chanterelle mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Okay. 
here's what I need to say about this. Again, like put away the black gel, y'all. But he loves to like pull out black. It's like, oh gosh, like if you want to make anything look realistic, don't pull out the black. We're not making like cartoon leaves. That's not, um, that's not what we're doing here. So, um, and my brush, I mean, look at the amount of gel on there. There's like no gel on there at all, hardly. So um, you can come in and just kind of like pull. And if it makes a line, it makes a line. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Don't even worry about it, okay? If you feel like um, you had a mistake or a boo-boo or something like that and you need to clean it up, I'm gonna recommend touching just a tad bit of acetone on here and coming in and like kind of just swiping. But right away after, you wanna go back to getting some like gel or some alcohol in this brush. Um, okay, so this is like the base. We're going to just cure this really quickly. So we'll put this in the light. And you can choose whether you want to do matte or shiny for your top coat. Play with your painting gels in a new way. And experiment and try some stuff and don't be afraid of it. Uh, because there's so much more probably than what you realize. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I am excited to see you all try it. Uh, if you try it, I'd love for you to tag me. It just makes my day when you do that, that's all. Hey, do you know about our premium subscription education at Wildflowers? We have an amazing website that is absolutely loaded with very organized educational nail content. You are gonna love it. It's super affordable. We already have over 40 lessons loaded in there and we drop a brand new course in there every single week for our subscribers. Not only that, we have an amazing Facebook community called The Greenhouse where we do giveaways. We just did one the other day and we must have given away like eight different prizes. It's just a really fun place to be uh, surrounded by people with a similar interests. We all love nails and we all love nail art. So I just wanted to let you know about it. You can find out more information by going to wildflowersnails.com and clicking on Academy at the top of the page. We at Wildflowers would love to invite you to join us in person for Master Artist Week. It's eight intensive nail workshop classes packed into a fun week sprinkled with all sorts of nail shenanigans. Come and take that next step. We would love to have you.